Hey what's up guys welcome back to another video and in this video we'll be talking about uh, oneplus 5 and we'll be showing you how to install AICP ROM which is based on Android 7.1.2 and it is a very stable ROM which I have been using from past one day so let's take a look what all features available in this and how to install it so friends I'll tell you the installation process at the end first we'll take a look at the settings and what all the things available in this so we go to settings about and you can see it is based on Android version 7.1.2 and the Android security patch is 5th July 2017 so this is and uh, the build date is 18th July so it was uh, released yesterday and I had just installed it and I'm using it for a day and also show you guys about the battery backup what I am getting as of now so I go to battery and and this is the battery usage of the device the screen on time what I got is 6 hours 2 minutes and still 22% remaining uh, this is the first cycle after flashing this room so it is pretty good um, battery backup and till now I have not found any lags in this and if you scroll towards your left you get the Google uh, feed option available here uh, and uh, one more thing guys I am not using the official launcher which was available in this I have downloaded a launcher which I will show you so this is the launcher which I am using uh, and the download link I will mention in the description below so guys uh, it's a very stable room so let's take a look at the features available in this and the customizations option available for this room there is an application called AICP Extras so you go to this and under this you have few options available related to UI design and various so you can customize accordingly so here you can see head up notification you have enable head up notification you can also set the timeout to enable or disable it then you have options of status bar you can uh, select uh, super user indicator show 4G instead of LTE show Bluetooth uh, battery status battery bar traffic uh, indicators carrier label ticker and AICP logo next you have notification drawer under notification drawer you have custom header image so I have already selected a custom uh, header image so you can select any one of these from here so they have few packages I have selected nature random so it keeps on changing on random basis so if you want you can select anything from here so you will get uh, get the image of it. in this you have uh, many options like browse install headers header image shadow for better visibility on bright images uh, setting shortcuts uh, running service icons many options available in this so next go to quick settings under quick settings you have brightness slider enabled brightness icon brightness icon position vibrate to touch music tiles and you can see you have lots of options available here in this also so let's go back and check on lock screen lock screen you have show alarm text show clock and you can also hide am pm i'll just hide it because okay it requires restart so i'll cancel it now battery info also can be displayed here next again we go back to recents and in this you have enable clear all buttons so I have already enabled so if you see I get a clear button available here next you have uh, the option to select it down or uh, top and in this you also have an immersive recents so once you enable this or select uh, full screen so the complete status bar and everything disappears Next also you have an option of hidden apps, uh, omni switch recents. So these are the options available in recents panel. Next you have weather. So in this you have uh, main settings uh, for weather application. Status bar you can uh, choose any one of them. I have selected uh, show temperature with scales. So I get a temperature uh, on my status bar. Next you have location display, condition, icon display. Under header you have uh, weather display condition icon display and the last one miscellaneous so in design you also have few options like animation blur UI and panel pawn so let's check in animation so power menu animation I have selected fly so I just change it and show you once I select bottom hold the power button so power options comes from the bottom of the screen so like this few options are available in this next we go to blur UI and you have expanded status bar option available in this quick settings blur recents background blur blur filters 
and the last one is panel pawn. So in this you have tweaks for uh, quick settings. So these are the customization option available in this. You have also have an option of various like system extension. In system extension you also have pie control, app circle bar, app side bar and last one is various shape. So in this you have a camera shutter sound you can disable that and uh, you have a show settings drawer you can choose any of these according to your requirements so these are the options available with AICP extras so guys I would recommend this uh, ROM because I have been using for a day and the battery backup is amazing and the performance is at its best and device doesn't get heated uh, while using it let's go to settings and check what are the things available here so in this also you have the same uh, options available AICP extras you, it directly takes you to the application so let's go back and you have option of navigation so in this you have enable navigation bar you can use I don't use it so I have not enabled it so let's go back and uh, under display you have normal options available night light automatically turns on if you select this you have ambient display option available in this tap to wake uh, prevent accidental wake ups wake up on plug cast expanded uh, desktop front size these are the things already available in all the rooms so under gestures you have uh, touch screen gestures which i normally don't use it has few extra gestures available in this so if you guys use gesture option you can always go with this next you have jump to camera to quickly open camera press the power button twice so I'll just press it and show you okay so I get two options over here one is the oneplus camera and one is the uh, Cyanogen camera which is available here so uh, guys one more thing uh, oneplus camera is not working as of now so I'll select Cyanogen camera and it opens up so the next option is double tap to sleep it says double tap on the status bar to turn off the display so I double I enable this and double tap the status bar so these are the options and gestures available in this so now I'll be showing you how to install this room guys make sure you download the zip files available for this room this is the zip file and instead of using bean google app i would recommend you to use open google app package and i have used pico package i'll show you now how to install this so first you boot your device to recovery mode and once your device boots to twrp recovery mode guys make sure to decrypt your device and if you guys are not aware how to decrypt first take a backup of your complete internal memory which will delete uh, all the internal data available inside the phone so make sure to take a backup of that and the method uh, will be updating in the description below you can use, follow the same guide for uh, decrypting your phone and if you don't decrypt your phone your device will not boot up so guys make sure you decrypt your device once that is done then only flash the room so first what I do is I just go to wipe advanced wipe I select everything and swipe to wipe so once this is done I go back again I go to install and I install the room so now you again go back and select Google app package confirm to flash once the process is complete just hit reboot and your device should boot up so your device boots up after somewhere around 3-4 minutes so that's all in this video guys and thank you for being a part of my channel and if you guys are new to my channel do not forget to subscribe and if you also like the video do give me a thumbs up thanks for watching have a great day